This beautiful riverboat was my home for part of my small group journey with Abercrombie and Kent, a U.S. Tour Operators Association member, and taking in the Nile life on board this luxurious vessel was a personal highlight of the whole Egypt experience. An amazing part of this experience is that while one day you're seeing tons of bucket list sites, the next you can absorb all that you've seen aboard this beautiful ship. Thank you. And these weren't just any boats. They were equipped with an ever accommodating staff, as well as modern amenities, chic polish, and floor to ceiling windows. Naturally, the views of the Nile were the best decoration. Great because you can hop on and off and see all the sights of Luxor and Dandara, and you can also take in the local life as it comes to you. Further up the Nile, we visited the Temple of Hathor at Dandara, my favorite temple. This temple has a lot of astrological symbolism, and it clearly is one of the best preserved sites in Egypt, with just about every part of it in original condition. We're at the Temple of Dandara, which was built to the goddess Hathor. Hathor was the goddess of maternity, and this space was actually one of the earliest maternity centers. It was open to the public, and women used to come here for both spiritual and physical care in childbirth. The interior of the main building was dramatic and mystical, with secret corridors and upper levels that you had to discover. Restorus left the soot line to show how it originally looked after centuries of fires blackened the walls and ceilings, covering the colorful and magnificent art. In other temples I've seen, you can read the hieroglyphs on the walls, but in this one, you actually can walk through them. You feel like you're a part of the story yourself. I also love these passageways with the stairs. It's kind of like you're discovering this temple on your own. Every inch of the walls are covered in carvings. They're so beautiful and they go all the way to the top. The Temple of Dandara has definitely been one of the highlights so far. I am just overwhelmed by how beautiful and striking this place is and how well preserved it is. It's like nothing I've ever seen. And back on the Nile, we went to the next location, Luxor. Abercrombie and Kent has private dockings with felucas that transport you to and from the public docks. I loved the feluca boats and couldn't stop taking pictures of them. We're at the entrance of the famous Luxor Temple, the only temple that was actually open to all the public. And when this temple was discovered, these statues behind me were buried up to their shoulders. So all they saw were their heads. They had to dig down to discover it. The Temple of Luxor is one of the most continuously used temples, and it has served as a place of worship, not just for ancient Egyptians, but also for modern Islam and Christianity. My tip would be to not come here during the day. Come to Luxor Temple at sunset when the light is just magical and then it gets dark and you can see all of the columns light up. It is aligned with Karnak Temple and ancient processions moved between the two along the avenue of the Sphinxes. The temple was created to honor Amun, the god of fertility, and wandering along the various spaces makes you realize how this temple was in the heart of the wealthiest and most important cities in ancient times.